These are a plant with some personality. Chomper devours a zombie whole but is vulnerable while chewing. It's basically a great one-hit killer, but uh, you gotta protect them too because otherwise they'll... Oh, we have buckethead zombies. And now we have to actually choose which plants that we uh, use. So we, since we don't use sunflower, we definitely won't pick that. And I like to put them in the order in which I'm going to be uh, using them usually. And I guess I'll take that, just in case. But I won't necessarily uh, be able to afford the chompers much, but we'll find out. We'll see. And then you'll, I like to put a wall in front of the chompers so, to protect them. Let's rock. Warning, you haven't chosen any sun-producing plants. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Of course, that is the challenge. See, I'm glad that they actually let you continue instead of forcing you to have the sun plants. It's almost like they might have anticipated some people taking this challenge, which I like. I think that's cool. We're pretty much going to have a steady stream of zombies and uh, because if they had huge waves then usually it's marked by flags. Now there's several things I could do here. I could... Mm, I'm gonna go with regular pea shooters for now though. See how that goes. I could have also been, you know, starting to line things up with chompers. Uh, this early on, but it it can leave you vulnerable, and I probably wouldn't have had enough money or sun to fill up the other lanes in time. So, gotta gauge the risks of every choice. There's wee little tiny flowers grown around the lawn, but they're of no help. They're just regular old plants. Not the same as our sentients. Which, yeah, a good thing I can't eat too many vegetables. I wouldn't eat my babies here. Um, one thing, uh, when, when the zombies are crunching on the plants, it just sounds so succulent and delicious. It's like... I feel bad because they're my babies, but but at the same time they, they sound so delicious. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. But that's what happens when you have anthropomorphic uh, plants, I suppose. Gonna have a little bit of... Uh, uh, let's get a little more sun. Whoop. I... yeah. Probably should have. I'm going to wait and get some sun and now place one of these. Yeah, I think that that was the best bet. Because now we got all the lanes covered anyway for now. Uh oh. Then again, here comes trouble. These bucket head zombies. Uh, oh boy. Uh, what am I going to do here? I guess I'm going to have to set up a nut. And try to hold him off for now while I try to earn enough... I mean, I, I could have set up a potato mine, but I'm not sure if it would have bloomed in time. And plus, I don't know, I don't like to make plants so disposable. I probably should have, though. So that was kind of a mistake. I'm gonna try to earn my way to the chomper and hope that I can get it before you choose through that walnut. Come on, just one more sun. There we go. Chomp! Ah, much better. No more of that crunchy noise that I love to hate and hate to love. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Yep, it's starting to get a little more real here. I love seeing him just chewing on it. 
just looks like he's so satisfied to be chewing on a zombie. Nyom, 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 nyom. <laughs> yep, oh, here comes the final wave, I suppose. That was fast. Goop, nah. And ready for more. Got another bucket head here. Well, I'm gonna set up another chomper. He appears to be the only one in the lane, so I don't really need to put up a, a wall in front of him. Alright, come on. We can do this. Actually, I should have set him closer, but I wasn't sure if there were gonna be more zombies behind him or not. It'd be nice if they had a fast forward button, but. The part of this game is to teach you patience, and uh, I'm okay with that. You gotta have patience in, R in RTS and tower defense type games. Ah, oh, here's a tough customer, who I probably won't be able to afford very often. Repeater. Haha, <laughs> P. Fires two P's at a time. Uh, they're a good space saver, but... Really, they cost the same as buying two regular pea shooters at the same time anyway. So generally, I probably won't be using them much. Unless I gotta save room, like later on in the water levels. Okay, let's see. Get that guy, dish guy, dish, dish, and uh, let's have an emergency backup. Yep, no sun. I knows it. Do, do, do. Let's get some sunshine. I'm walking on sunshine. There's so many songs about sunshine. Probably because it brings so much light and happiness to some people. But there are some people who also get reverse seasonal affective disorder. And sunshine actually makes them gloomy and they prefer uh, cloudy and rainy days. My sister's one of them, Princess PTFO. She uh, has reverse seasonal affective disorder so uh, it's like there are days where I'm, I'm so happy that it's sunny but then I feel a little bit guilty because she's not you know feeling very chipper for that very reason. Oh, we got a twofer in the lane again. But yeah, I mean, everyone's got to get some sun, though. It's kind of necessary for proper metabolism, and uh, uh, you get... Yeah, it, it helps serotonin production, it helps regulate your melatonin, which helps you sleep better, and uh, it helps actually... Okay. There's a reason why you get cholesterol in your body, and there's such a thing as good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Uh, the sun helps you convert your cholesterol, certain type of cholesterol, into vitamin D. That's right, so having some cholesterol can be a good thing, as long as you get enough sun. And if you want to lower your cholesterol, getting sun is a good way to do it. So there you go, little bit of health tip for you, a little science. Alright, we've got all but one lane covered. And of course, it would be one of these guys. I'm gonna wait and once again uh, put a snow pea down. Because I'd like to have them at one point on all the lanes anyway. This time we're going to have one large wave in the middle, which is coming up pretty soon, before the final wave hits. So we're going to have to be able to survive for a long haul here. So i got to try to set up my troops accordingly. Um, let's see... What else can I talk about? 
<laughs> As usual, I haven't had all that much of a life. I've been, you know, pretty much bedridden, and that's kind of why I'm doing this game instead of Minecraft, because Minecraft, to me, takes a lot more concentration, and I like to do a lot fancier editing and stuff when I work with it. Um, so there's only so much I can talk about when I'm laying around not doing much. Uh, I go to physical therapy uh, uh, to try to help my joints uh, get back movement and to also try to increase my stamina and, uh, and I seem to be able to still do all my moves even when I'm not... Uh, uh, I gotta concentrate a little here. Okay. It seems like I can do all the workouts that they demand of me, but then when I'm at home, I can barely do crap. So it really helps to have a coach there to help you along and make sure that you're doing what you need to do. I'm not sure if it's a psychological thing or or what. I think I'm more I'm just more motivated when I'm around other people who share my enthusiasm and and I guess in the case of the therapist, we all want me to be doing better. Oh dear, we got a bucket head. And if we put down a plant, he may or may not eat the bucket head. Looks like he will. Looks like he will, because he's edged out in front. Yeah, we got him. Chomp. And now he's protected by the wall while he eats. And this good old pea shooter will help take care of this guy. The music had more percussion in it, if you noticed, uh, during the uh, uh, flags, during the uh, huge waves. And then it calms back down when there's less of them coming at a time. Let's see, let's go ahead and try to fill these guys in a little. I probably shouldn't have done that. I, I mean, this lane would be okay on its own, I think. Oh well. Well, let's see if it'll still work. Wow, this guy's done eating already? That was fast. He's a hungry one. Chomp. <laughs> I love it. He makes zombies look delicious. <laughs> okay, now we... Yeah, hopefully this walnut will be able to hold out. And keep these guys at bay. I might have to replace him. Uh see. Because he's going to have two of them chewing on him. Oh boy, and now we got jumpers coming in the lanes. I'll put a walnut here and one of these guys here. Up, up, up. Ooh. Good, good, good. Just in time. Uh, but now my plant uh, chewing dude is vulnerable. Hopefully this guy can die soon enough. Good. But now we got this guy. Hurry up with your chewing. Come on, swallow. Oh, oh, ooh. That was close. Oh man, it's it's getting getting a little tougher now. Uh oh. Uh oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Aw, oh, we lost him. Aw, oh, man. Ah. I feel bad for losing a plant. It's gonna happen, but that wasn't so good. And I hope this one will be okay, because this is awful close. Uh, uh. Oh, no! Now, good thing I have lawn mowers. Lawn mowers are the last line of defense, but now it's gone. So this lane is entirely vulnerable. I have to hurry up 
and reinforce it as much as I can. Oh, this guy's going to get through too. We're probably going to lose another lawnmower. Because there's no way I can really take care of this guy. I wasn't paying attention. I got distracted by the other lane and, and, and blarg. Now this lane might or might not get attacked by the final wave. Uh, since it just recently had had this, usually the lanes have a cooldown period. And it looks like this one still had a cooldown period too, thankfully. But oh my gosh, look at the guys coming here. This is bad. I'd rather not lose yet another uh, lane of defense. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set that up and hope that they, uh, if they do get through, that this blooms in time and blows them all up. Because... Eventually, you'll get rewards for how many, uh, okay, good. Now, let's see if it gets them all. Uh, this one zombie's awful quick. Up, oh, dang it. Didn't work. Come on. Eventually, you'll get rewards for how many lawnmowers you have left at the end of the level. There we go. We got a note. What's it say? Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. Oh no. Oh no, an all-out assault. Means a minigame. We've got a lot of heavy-duty zombies coming. Okay, it's one of those uh, uh, things where... Uh, they give you random plants, and you gotta do what you can with them in the time that you have. Setting up as much of our offensive defense as we can first. Looks like we're gonna get a pretty good variety of plants in our arsenal. Up, oh, up, oh, come on. And they're gonna be streaming on in, so we gotta take care of this. Um, let's see. I'm thinking I'll probably have of those, a few rows of these, uh, yeah, let's try to keep the rows about as even as possible with, uh, defense, and let's just go ahead and Start planting these. Uh, not there yet. So now we have a repeater in every row at least. Okay. Spit out. These lanes pretty much equal now, except for extra guarding here. There we go, we're working our way up. Garden our garden. Alright, we got pretty good offense here. Pretty darn good, I'd say. Make sure we have something for someone to jump over there. Hmm, I probably could have moved everything up a row, because we're getting quite a lot of plants now. Quite a lot indeed. 
Yeah, I'd say we're in pretty good shape here. I'm going to start digging up some of these regular ones and replacing them with repeaters. And just put these in kind of in front. Uh-oh! 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 I didn't think that would happen. Okay, let's go ahead and put a snow pea here. Make some extra, extra lines here. And just kind of put these guys out in the front. When they're slowed down, it even slows down their eating, which is definitely a good thing. Yeah, I can afford to be a little more disposable with uh, some of these plants and stuff now. Let's go with quality over quantity. Room. We can. Uh, I don't want to get rid of those guys. These guys are handy. Yeah, they're really fast eaters when they're in groups like that. getting crazy here. All this defense. It's definitely gonna hold. We're almost at the final wave. Alright, here we go. <laughs> so many big bada boom. Let's throw in one more. Yeah. Ooh, a mushroom. Let's see what this is. Puff shroom shoots short range spores at the enemy. This means that the next uh, episode we're gonna do a night mission. And this will change everything a lot because there is no sun whatsoever in night missions. I'm Zach Cloud, and uh, uh, that was some Plants vs. Zombies, and uh, hopefully you'll join me next time when we'll find out what happens here. See you later, broskies!